Hi, I'm Kat, and this is another bracelet DIY video on how to make this bracelet. It's really fast, really easy, and the best part is it takes about 15 minutes from start to finish. For this, you'll need a clipboard, which is the work surface, something to measure with, two types of cord, one should be slightly thicker than the other, and the base cord is the thinner one, so it doesn't matter which color this one is. Also some scissors. I have two pairs of pliers, so I'm going to use two, but you can get by with one. Some super glue, a lobster clasp, jump rings, and two end crimps, and either an additional clip to hold down your work or some scotch tape. The first thing I'm going to do is measure my base string to about 15 inches. Then I'll measure my top strings to about 40 inches and cut those to length. Next I'm going to put a little bit of super glue inside my end crimp. And this just helps keep everything in place and makes it a little bit easier to work with. Then I'm going to place the ends of each of my cords into the end crimp. Press them down in there as much as possible. Try not to super glue your fingers to the end crimp. And then close it up with a pair of pliers. I like to do one side first, make sure it's curved in a little bit, and then go to the other side and fold that one in. And once that's done, just clip it into the top of your clipboard, and take your base strings and either clip them down at the bottom of your clipboard, or if you don't have an extra clip, just tape them down. Now starting on the right, you're going to take your working string, put it over your right bass string and under the left bass string, and pull it up and to the left, trying to cover up as much of that bass string as possible. Then take your left working string, go over your left bass string and under your right bass string. Try and pull those up as far as possible. Then repeat the process. So take your right working string, go over your right bass string and under your left bass string. I'm not a star, more like a black dwarf, but you shine bright. And do the same thing on the left. Over the left bass, under the right bass. And you'll want to make sure that as you work, you're scooting up these little ridges that you're making. Now, if this isn't working for you, it's probably because your bass strings are not pulled tight enough. So make sure that you pull those bass strings really tight before you get started. Otherwise, everything's just going to be a little bit loose and wonky and it's not going to look quite right. And you just keep repeating the process and making sure that you push your work up along those bass strings as you go. And keep going until your bracelet has reached the length that you want it. More like a grain of sand, you are marble. And once you've gotten it to the length that you want, cut off just enough extra cord to fit into your end crimp. And once more, carefully put a tiny dab of super glue inside your crimp. Carefully secure the end of your work with your end crimp. And once you're done with that, use two small jump rings to attach your lobster clasp to one end of your bracelet and then a large jump ring to the other end. And that is your finished bracelet. But of course, I know it's true that I'm just not right for you.